Hey everyone, and welcome to your deep dive. Today, we're going to be diving into something that sounds like it's straight out of science fiction. We're talking about storing the entire human genome, all of it, on a crystal. And get this, the crystal is the size of a coin. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And the craziest part, this 5D memory crystal, that's what they're calling it, is so incredibly durable, it could last, get this, until the end of the universe. Okay, you're going to have to explain that one to me, the end of the universe. How can something even last that long? I know, right? It boggles the mind, but we're talking billions of years, potentially even surviving things like cosmic rays and insane temperatures. This thing is basically indestructible. That's pretty intense. So to wrap our heads around all of this, we've got some cool resources for this deep dive. We've got a recent live science article that goes pretty in depth, and we're also going to be drawing on some insights from a tech expert to break it all down. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. For sure. So let's start with the basics. What exactly are we talking about when we say 5D memory crystal? What even is that? Okay, so picture this. It basically looks and feels like really, really high-end glass, like okay. super clear, super smooth. And that's because it's actually made of this stuff called fused quartz, which is known for being super stable. Okay, so it's like fancy glass I'm following so far. Yeah. But what makes it 5D? Okay, so here's where it gets really, really cool. Instead of like writing data on a flat surface, right? Think like CD or a hard drive. This thing stores data in three dimensions. It's like a skyscraper of information, all built inside this crystal. Wait, so they're building information in layers inside the crystal itself? Exactly. And it gets even wilder because they can also encode data based on how light passes through those layers. So it's like hiding information in plain sight. Whoa, okay. Hold on, my brain needs a minute to catch up. We're talking about storing information in layers within a crystal and manipulating how light interacts with it. That's some next level stuff. It is, and it's because of this crazy technique that they can pack a truly mind-blowing amount of information into a tiny, tiny space. Okay, so cut to the chase. Just how much data are we talking about here? Give me some context. All right, so we're talking 360 terabytes on a single crystal. 360 terabytes. Okay, to be honest, I have no idea what that means in practical terms. Okay, okay, think of it like this. That's like more than 5,000 iPhones worth of storage. 5,000 iPhones. Now you're talking my language. You could fit your entire digital life on one of these crystals, every photo, every video, your entire music library, and still have room for the whole human genome. So you're telling me I can fit all my embarrassing karaoke videos, A and D, the entire human genome, on something smaller than a pancake? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, that's both impressive and a little terrifying at the same time. But it does make you wonder, why go through all this trouble to store something as complex as the human genome on this indestructible crystal in the first place? What's the point? And that, that is the real head scratcher. It's not just about having enough storage space, right? It's about sending a message, a message to the future, a message that could potentially outlive humanity as we know it. A message to the future, like a, a DNA time capsule of oh, sorts. You got it. A DNA time capsule. Okay, so are we talking about like preserving the human blueprint? as some kind of cosmic insurance policy just in case, you know, humanity kicks the bucket at some point. Yeah, that's the general idea. But how would that even work? Are we picturing, like, future civilizations digging these crystals up like fossils, and then what? Plug them into some futuristic DNA reader or something. Well, it's not quite as simple as just, you know, plugging in a USB drive. But, yeah, you're on the right track. It's definitely a long shot. But the hope is that if this crystal survives, like we're talking billions of years, Maybe, just maybe, someone or something stumbles upon it and they're able to decipher it. Okay, but let's say, hypothetically speaking, some crazy advanced alien civilization finds this crystal a billion years from now. How are they supposed to know what it is? It's not like we're sending an instruction manual along with it. Right? And that's the really cool part. The researchers knew they had to figure that out, how to make the information understandable, even if you had zero concept of human language, zero concept of our technology. So they had to get a little creative. Let me guess. They wrote, hello, we come in peace and binary on the side of the crystal. Not quite. They included some basic visual guides, like etched onto the crystal itself using that same laser technology. Visual guides, like what? Like the structure of nucleotides, the double helix shape of DNA, that kind of thing. They even included the atomic structure of elements that are, you know, crucial for life. So it's like a cosmic DNA for dummies guide etched onto this crystal. Yeah, in a way, it's a long shot. But the thinking is, even if this future civilization is totally different from us, 
there are some things like those basic building blocks of life that might be universal enough to recognize. It's like they're speaking in the language of the universe, atoms and molecules instead of English or Mandarin or whatever. Okay, I can get behind that. Though if they're advanced enough to decode a 5D memory crystal in the first place, I'm hoping they can figure out our cosmic doodles. <laughs> But even if this whole reviving humanity thing is a bit of a stretch, isn't there something kind of profound about it? I mean, just the act of trying to preserve our species, <laughs> even if it's just our DNA for, you know, all time. Oh, absolutely. And I think that's just it. It really makes you think bigger picture. You know, what does it mean to leave a legacy, not just for the next generation, but on a time scale that's almost impossible to grasp? Right. And it's not just about humans either, right? Okay. This kind of technology could be used to preserve the what do they call it, the genetic blueprints for other species, too. Exactly. And honestly, that's one of the things that's super compelling about this right now. We're living through this time of just crazy biodiversity loss, species going extinct all the time. Imagine if we could create, like, a genetic arc. A genetic arc. Secure backup for all the amazing life on Earth. You know, a safeguard against extinction. A genetic arc. Yeah. Well, that's, that's really something. I mean, it makes you think, what else in our world would be worth preserving like that? Like, what's important enough? I know, right? It really makes you think long term, like way beyond our own lifespans, you know. But putting aside the big philosophical questions for a second... There are some practical uses for this technology, too, even right now. OK, so what are we talking about here? What kind of practical uses? Well, one big one is space exploration. Like, think about it. Sending data back from distant planets, it's already a huge pain. You've got these big, clunky hard drives. They're fragile. But with this crystal technology, you could pack a ton of information onto something tiny and send it off to another solar system. No more worrying about some cosmic ray frying your hard drive. It'd be like... The Voyager Golden Record, but yeah. like a million times cooler. We're not just sending music and greetings. We're talking about like the building blocks of life. life or even like you said, our entire history, all our data. Exactly. And it's not just space. Think about preserving historical archives here on Earth. Imagine if like ancient civilizations had had this technology. We could have perfectly preserved texts and images from millions of years ago. No more of those crumbling manuscripts and faded photographs. Though, would we even be able to read that information in a million years, you think? I mean, technology moves so fast. Look at floppy disks. Remember those? Yeah, it's a good question. The researchers are kind of betting that any civilization advanced enough to find and decode this crystal would also be able to figure out the information on it. That's a big bet, but I kind of like it. Yeah. We're talking about preserving information for, like, an unimaginable amount of time. You said 300 quintillion years. It's basically forever, right? Yeah. It makes you think about what information is important enough to save for that long. Right. And how will our idea of important information change over time? I mean, what are future generations or even future species going to find valuable about our time? It's mind-blowing, really. So if you could send a message on this crystal, what would you say? What story would you tell? It's something to think about. And on that note, we've reached the end of our deep dive. Thanks for joining us for this wild ride into the future of data storage and maybe even the future of humanity. And hey, if you want to learn more about 5D memory crystals, we've got those sources we talked about linked in the show notes. Check it out. Until next time, stay curious.